Hi, this is Isaac Oman for Red House Media. Uh, this week on the blog, we're going to be—I'm uh, going to be showing you how um, I use a Wacom tablet. It's a special uh, drawing tool that we plug into the computer, and it's pressure sensitive. Um, it's just a little stylus pen like this. It has two ends to it as a racer and a tip and a couple buttons on it. And then uh, this pad here, which plugs into the computer with a USB port. And um, I'm going to be using screen capture software so that you can see what I'm doing on screen and, and how it works. I can just demo it real quick so you can see it in real time. Um, you can make things real narrow and make it go really wide if you want. You can do the same thing with opacity. And I'll show you a little bit of that um, just coming up when we go to the screen capture. All right, here we are in Photoshop. I've got a um, logo open that I'm going to apply some texture to, kind of um, spice it up. Right now it looks pretty flat. Um, just imported it from Illustrator. I'm going to be using my brushes palette, and I have some custom brushes installed. Um, um, this here is a gear of the bike. We're going to make some, um, some uh, dirt spray off the back of it. I'm just going to pick a different brush here and um, maybe change the size a little bit. Um, you, can really, um, you can really add a lot by just um, coming in and applying this texture. Um, I can actually change um, the size of the brush I'm using with, a, um, with the stylus of the pen. Um, the, the, reason, the reason that I like to do this is um, you can just take any font you're using. Uh, right now this is a, just a condensed sans serif and you can turn it into something completely new. You don't have to go to a font website and find something that's already textured. Uh, some of those are nice. Um, with this you can really add your own custom uh, feel to it and um, it'll really look like nothing else that's ever been done because you're controlling each aspect of it. So I just I find a spot that looks like it hasn't been you know, touched up yet and uh, just go in and add a little bit. Right now you can see that there's you know, a similar uh, feel to each spot that the brush touches, but you know, if you were just to look at the logo you know, where it's published, you, know, you wouldn't see that you, know, you were using the same brush. I mean, you can flip uh, the axis of it around, you can reverse it and um, make it look uh, different. So I'm gonna turn that layer off um, the, the one that I just did, and I'm going to show you uh, the one that got, uh, the one that we used. Uh, this one took a little bit more time on it, um, made it look like the uh, dirt was really spraying off the back of it. Um, by the way, if if you uh, if you haven't been out to the uh, mountain bike area out in Cana Lakes, uh, Crosby Ironton, I would highly recommend you check it out. Uh, it's a ton of fun. You can. Um, you can rent a bike, you can bring your own. Um, it's a good place to watch the sunrise or the sunset. I mean, we have people that go at night or day. Um, yeah, so it was cool to show you um, how I use the tablet to just add some texture to this logo, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Isaac from Red House Media.